So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm gonna talk about how we can create uh, that kind of bad sheet using the blender and here you can see in this video i'm gonna talk about some uh, tricks basically where you can create these kinds of beautiful sides of the cloths also and uh, we'll also talk about how we can use a blender default cloth filter who will uh, like help us create these kind of realistic fold also all right so in this video we'll just gonna talk about how we can create a bed sheet with the help of the cloth simulations and we'll also talk about how we can create these kinds of realistic folds using the blender inbuilt cloth filter basically so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i'm just gonna delete this um, bed sheet basically and here i'm just gonna add one plane and i will just go to my top but first of all i'm just going to move it a little bit up so we can easily see so i'm just going to scale it and uh, it will depend the scale according to the size of our bed so i'm going to just scale it something like that and something like that also i think that much scale is look nice to me right now and i'm just going to apply the scale first of all and make sure whenever you are just using a physics simulations and uh, some technical things in a blender so make sure you apply the scale basically because that will uh, prevent you uh, creating some meshy things after adding some effects uh, in blender basically so keep in mind whenever you scale your object and you are doing some simulation things and physics things make sure you apply the scale Alright, so after doing this scale, basically I'm just gonna add some uh, subdivision surface. Basically, so I'm just gonna add some uh, loop cuts into my plane. I think that much is enough for me right now. And after that, I'm just gonna my physics property, and here I'm just gonna add the uh, cloth simulation into our uh, plane. And after that, here you can see we have some settings here. But there is one cool things basically which i'm going to talk about this is a uh, filters okay so these are some preset basically which is blender have already pre-made it and uh, here you can see we have a uh, five kind of presets silk rubber leather denim and cottons so right now i'm just going to use the silk basically and these all are uh, very uh, powerful preset because when you apply the uh, these preset into your mesh so it will uh, look like and that cloth flow same like that uh, preset basically so make sure you just use from here so i'm just going to write now silk and after that i'm just going to scroll it down and here you will we will see one option it's called basically object collusion so make sure you just enable it from here and there is one option also it called self collusion and that is super important basically and what is does exactly self collusion whenever cloth is colliding with himself so it will protect to intersect our mesh to each others basically so I'm just going to enable this one also i think uh, that much setting is enough right now and after that i'm just going to one more thing basically i'm going to select my bed and here i'm just going to add the collusions all right and apart from that you don't need to change any collusion settings just keep it by default okay and everything is good to go now what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to my uh, solid mode and here i'm just going to play the animation so now here you can see when i'm just going to play the animation yeah so now here you can see we have a good cloth flow but what we have to do basically we have to just scale our cloth little bit more basically so i'm just gonna my wireframe mode i'm just gonna scale it little bit up i think that message look nice to me and i'm just gonna apply the scale as i told you before also now what i'm gonna do i'm again play the animation and yeah right now is good to go for me and one more thing we can do it basically what we can do we can just uh, scale it something like that and um, so just uh, keep our bed sheet only this way and after that just apply the scale all right everything is good to go now again i'm just gonna play the animation yes I think that look nice to me okay i'm just gonna holding my uh, animation here basically and that look nice okay so here you can see okay all right guys so here you see that is enough for us right now all right so after that what we have to do basically we have to just select our mesh and we have to do right click and do shade smooth and that look nice by the way okay and we'll also add the subdivision surface modifier but later not now 
all right and uh, so what we can do basically we can first of all apply the our uh, uh, cloud simulation into a shape key so what will happen basically here you can see now our whole simulation convert into the shape key and that look nice by the way okay after that what we can do we can just go to our modifier section and here i'm just gonna add the uh, solidify modifier okay after adding the solidify modifier it will look something like that but that thickness is too much basically so we have to decrease the thickness so i'm just gonna decreasing the thickness from here i will just add the thickness 0 0.5 okay that's fine i think that much is look nice to me yeah we can what we can do basically 0 0.08 yeah that much thickness is look nice to me and we can also add the subdivision surface modifier yeah okay and here you can see that look awesome by the way i'm just gonna apply the shade smooth and we can keep it upside yes i think everything look is nice to me right now all right now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my texture mode and first of all i'm just gonna apply the texture on it so i will just use this fabric texture yeah i think that look nice by the way all right and after that we'll just go to edit mode into our bed sheet and i will just add the one as loop here one as loop here and one as loop will add here by the way and one more will add the into this way and after that we'll just select all four as loop which is we have added like something like that and we'll just do control b and bevel but make sure that should be a little bit small and make sure you just add one edge in between both of the edges that's it after that i'm just going to select my middle edge yes looking awesome same i'm just going to select it here and i'll select also from the here by the way and i'll just do control s and scale just little bit not too much yes look awesome now here you can see we have a of glue here and that's look awesome by the way you can see okay so first step is done okay now what i'm going to do is i will just create a uh, like uh, some folds here basically but first of all i just want to change the textures i think that actually is nice now what i'm going to do i will just go to my solid mode again and here i will just change into my sculpt mode and here we will see one uh, cloth filter here you can see this is the cloth filter and now what we have to do we have to just drag this cloth filter and here you can see it will help us to create perfect fold here you can see wow that look awesome here you can see i'm just gonna creating some folds here okay looking awesome looking good cool so now here you can see guys we have a good folds here also and that look awesome so you can see guys that's how you can basically create a bed sheet into blender and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe and also if you have any queries for any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and make sure just check out my description where i have uploaded my course link you can just check out my course where i have teach blender from basic to advanced okay if you interesting to learn blender in depth so make sure you just uh, go and check out my description where you will get my website link and you can just check out once and thank you guys and love you all